friends it is a beautiful spring day yesterday the weekend which was mother's day weekend actually and my husband's birthday was 80s and it was just a wonderful time to be outside i got my garden planted and just enjoyed planting my flowers and just doing things outdoors because that's what i do when the weather turns nice but i thought i'd bring you along on my homemaking day the two girls were playing in the room. The little guy's playing by the door because I have the windows open. A breeze is coming in. It's just one of those mornings where it just feels like I'm going to enjoy it. I got my quiet time in and just I've been reading through Hosea and that's been um, really just interesting and encouraging to know, you know, God is faithful to his people. So anyways, just little snippets of my morning so far. And we're going to keep going on with our day as my little guy comes towards me. So maybe not anything too spectacular today, but you know, I just live the life of being a homemaker of a mom of three littles. And I bring you along on what every little thing has that we do for my season of life. So we are outside now, all of a sudden, just came out because it's pretty nice and they wanted to drive their little Jeep they were gifted last year. Um, I'm gonna work on cleaning the back porch a little bit, our laundry area. Um, back in the winter months, I did a Neutralize the Ugly video where I kind of just refreshed my kind of outdated laundry space and I've just been trying to maintain it and keep it up a little bit better than I had been just to keep it um, lovely really for the space that I have I need to go get Elias down for a nap and I did a descale my coffee maker my espresso machine because it needed it and I just used vinegar I know you can get all the little chemical capsules but I just decided to use vinegar and it seems to work great so I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna go put my little boy down first and uh, just continue conquering the day and enjoying my coffee because I need to reheat that up again. I just tried to make it a place that I enjoyed looking at. I didn't paint anything. I didn't buy anything. I just created a space with items I had like baskets and um, old linen cloths and things like that. So I'm just trying to keep it fresh because I want to love this space still. Even if it's tight and small, even if the door almost hits the dryer, even if it gets shoes in there and mud on the floor every day because it's been wet, I still want to be able to work with my space and love the space I have. So I'm just keeping it cleaner because I want it to stay beautiful. And yep, you gotta work and sometimes talk on the phone and hear the kids playing outside. Just such is the life and the stage of life that I am in right now. <laughs> this is where we do keep most of our shoes so on this current day it was a little bit wet the week before and so we had our rain boots um, and then we have our sandals we have our tennis shoes running shoes you know this is kind of the place where we have to store our shoes and so it gets pretty full 
but that is just where we're at with that. But after that is cleaned, I am heading over to the aquaponics. This is the mix of fish farming and um, hydroponics basically, where the grow beds are the rocks and I am planting different greens seeds. So arugula, spinach, lettuce, kale in this particular grow bed. The cool thing about this is you can sprinkle them on, kind of just rub your hand over them to get them to go down a little ways and they pop up. It's just awesome. My husband made this whole system himself out of um, PVC pipe for the piping and these um, chemical totes, I guess, but they weren't full of chemicals, thankfully. And so they have been working great for many years. And now I'm putting tomatoes in that I started indoors and hoping they do well in this grow bed. Um, we don't have fish in there yet, but there will be fish in there because they will help with their excrement fertilize the whole system. So it's a pretty neat system and it's fun. So off we go to pick some lilacs, one of my favorite seasons that doesn't last long enough. So it is after lunchtime, and the girls are actually playing downstairs for a little bit before their quiet nap time. Eli sits down for a nap. We went and walked and picked some lilacs um, at a friend's house. So they're sitting outside because they have these teeny little little red bugs on them that I try to have like shaken off before I bring them into the house. Um, besides, I have these beautiful tulips in this cute, cute little boot that my girls picked out for me for Mother's Day with their dad. Uh, so really pretty. So that's on the table anyways. But I'm going to finish cleaning up here, um, get the table cleared off because I like to reset it for the next meal or an activity after nap time if we color or whatever we do and sweep. So I'm going to take care of that. Then I really got to work on um, finishing up a blog for you. It'll be my Amazon favorites that I have for some home decor items. So that'll be a video and a blog post that will have been out already for you to see and enjoy. The morning was beautiful. So nice out. It's smoky out today, but the sun is still shining nicely. Um, it's a little breezy, but that's South Dakota for you. So I'm going to finish cleaning up and get the girls down for quiet time and get working on um, my creativity through YouTube and blogging. All right, so nap time is complete and everyone's up and awake and enjoying the rest of the afternoon. We will be doing that outside some. Um, I gotta do some supper, so I didn't actually like meal plan today yet. I have some cooked ground beef in the fridge already. So I'm either gonna do like a skillet bake, a sourdough skillet bake from Farmhouse and Boone that I do regularly, and just put whatever veggies you have frozen or fresh in there. Um, and it's just a one pan meal, which is super easy and great. So that may be what I do. Um, or goulash was another thing, but we had um, mac and cheese for lunch with uh, deer sticks and bologna. So that is probably not gonna do, we're not gonna do noodles twice in a day. I don't think so. So we're gonna do the skillet bake. Um, I am gonna turn the oven on. I wasn't going to, cause our AC isn't working and air. So it's gonna warm it up in here a bit, but that's okay. We'll survive. It's 70, so it's not like it's super hot. So I will make sure I have enough frozen veggies, um, whatever else I need to toss in there and get that ready. Got most of my video editing done during nap time. I'll have to take care of the rest of everything else tonight. When my husband gets home from work, he's going to have to mow too. So we'll have to clean up the yard a little bit, make sure all the toys are gone out of there, um, make sure the hose isn't there. I'll help him out with that. 
And then I'm not sure if we're gonna head to the park this afternoon. We're just gonna enjoy some time outside, I know, because it's not that breezy right now. The wind went down from this morning. It's just beautiful. So I don't even really enjoy being inside when it's so just like sunny and calm and my flowers are just calling my name in my garden and my weeds, <laughs> but it's all good. So I'm gonna also make my latte. I made a honey lavender syrup a while ago and I am finishing that up probably today in my latte. I'll probably make a hot latte because that sounds good. Sometimes I just want a hot latte even on a warm day. So I'm gonna go do that while the kiddos are playing and doing their thing. I got four loads of laundry done today. So I have four baskets of laundry to fold. We'll get to that later too. Some homemaking things can stay when it's a busy season of life with being outdoors a lot more and gardening and all the other things that call us like the outside so i will just get to that when i can if some of it lasts till tomorrow that's what it's gonna be so i'm gonna go make my latte prep supper made an iced coffee so change of plans because we're gonna go to the park so I could have a coffee there too and it's easier to take than hot then we'll come back and do some outdoor stuff so I got this old cistern from a friend and uh, they just gave it to me so I'm gonna add it to my cottage garden and then I think I'm just gonna put a pot under it make it look like it's watering it So this old wash stand was also given to me because they used it for flowers, but I really I don't think I'm going to use it. I think it's pretty heavy, but I think I have a friend who would probably take it. So this one will be re-gifted. It's pretty, it's fun, but I just don't feel like keeping it. I know, it's kind of fun, old vintage, it's my style, but I just don't feel like having that to maintain and keep. delicious sourdough skillet it was bath time for the kiddos and then I was able to clean up myself after a day of being outside and enjoying what spring has and I was using this mama scrub just to exfoliate and just to relax so hope you enjoyed coming along on this day of my life <music> 